Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Come at you, April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2020. Month end is over. I think we go back to normal flows here, uh, which means that we are trying to sell dollars and sell stocks. Um, let's look at stocks first. Traded up to uh, 2640, so we didn't really get a chance to sell up there at 27. Straight back down today, 2513. You want to just remain core short this stuff, sort of in a bear market sort of stance. Um, but tactic, tactically, um, as best you can. If you didn't sell yesterday, um, which we did not, we did not get paid. Um, we're now just tactically waiting for um, for some sort of setup that may uh, that may suit. But core short equities is the way now. Same way, uh, short dollars. Got a chance to sell dollar Swiss up near 97. Short dollar Swiss, long euro dollar uh, looks to be the way. High so far has been 39 today. You could probably even buy um, through the highs when Europe gets in. I think there'll be a, there'll be a nice little flush higher in euro, and then we will eventually visit these uh, 111.50 highs that we saw last week. Um, Core short dollars. Uh, our favorite is Swiss francs. Well, our real favorite is Norway. Um, but that's a little bit tougher to trade. So our second favorite is Swiss francs. Our third favorite is Euro. Even though Europe's going to run into a lot of trouble with this bear market, just the liquidity of the Euro makes it attractive um, as a pair to sell. A pair to sell. Uh, against a dollar. Dollar CAD, wow, all the way up to 143.50 yesterday at the fix. Bit crazy town there. Um, now 41.05. This one's quite tough, right? Because you have the oil factor. Oil is very, very offered. Uh, and But you have the dollar factor selling dollars. Um, not really sure where to go on this one. But that was a good example yesterday of, of fading the fix. Gold, they finally got these stops below 16.12, uh, all the way down to 15.74. Uh, we want to be long gold, uh, incredibly tricky and incredibly illiquid. Uh, maybe a pivot back up through 16.11. We'll see how this presents itself going forward. Um, but we got the we got the sort of blowout sales yesterday, which killed all of the uh, recent longs. So now the market's much cleaner, 76 to low. Uh, fixed income, you're fighting the Fed here as best you can. You want to sell high ones. We had offers at 139.20 for the last couple of days. No luck on that. Um, but we do want to sell high ones. Don't want don't want to sell low ones. There's a there's just an army of buying below. Um, this buying will calm down uh, probably mid summer, late summer, from what I've read. Uh, so be careful selling low ones in fixed income. Selling high ones, trying to create P and L, which is ammunition for when this whole thing turns, when this whole house of cards uh, falls down. Boons, same thing. Um, you can just be core short boons. Uh, we certainly think that uh, anything over uh, minus 50 basis points uh, is a good time to short boons. Crude. Not a whole heck of a lot to say except for it just remains offered. The demand side is just blown out. Um, or blown up, or however you want to describe it. It's very, very weak on the demand side. We did get up there. 2190, uh, I believe, was the high. 2189. Now we're back to 2046 after visiting 20 bucks again. Um, bearish crude. Really, this really doesn't get bullish for us until we get through 25 and a quarter. Um, 
So tactically trading it, trying to get yourself into winning situations is the best way forward. Uh, no positions in crude for now. Anyway, um, core short dollars today is 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 the trick for us. Uh, we're going to be trying to uh, get short dollars against euro or against Swiss. Also trying to be sneaky and look for, look for a way to get long gold. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. Um, I will uh, speak to you all tomorrow. Ciao.